how to use your leftover pieces and how to make something nice out of it if you are a follower you must be knowing that i use lots and lots of cardstock pieces at my base when i'm using my texture paste when i'm using my shimmer spray when i have my some leftover pieces of uh, texture paste modeling paste on my palette knife and which i cannot put back on my jar and i use these kind of cardstock sheets the thick 250 gsm cardstock sheets to use my leftover pieces to use it for spraying and then what i'm left with is this beautiful sheet of uh, a beautiful sheet in fact mixed of texture paste the shimmer sprays and everything so i thought why not to create a mixed media tag with this so here i had one more pieces of a uh, black color cardstock which i had used earlier and this was one of the portion where i had used my leftover uh, stencil um sorry leftover <laughs> uh modeling paste and i thought why not to use this and create something beautiful so let's get started uh this is actually a very long piece so i have decided to cut it into two three four pieces uh maybe like i'll be just having the strips which i can use on my tag and later on i'm going to use this one only on my tag to give some nice texture and to add some more less to it so like you can see here i have two three different uh, patches ready with me so here i have already cut the three strips from my uh, existing cardstock piece and i am going to use my cardboard pieces to give it the different levels so here is my scrap board which is really really thick and you can see how difficult it is for me to cut this piece now i'm going to cut these into smaller pieces and i'm going to use it on my tag and this is really a sturdy one a very thicker one i will take up all the pieces once i'm done with the cutting work and trust me it's very 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 thick so there are two three options either you can use foam tape here or you can even use your um hot glue gun to add some height or you can even use such cardboard pieces i usually love using cardboard pieces cause these are uh, really thick and you can actually cut them as per your convenience of your size i really find uh, cutting three foam tapes of any particular size a uh, little task for me so i'm not a very big fan of uh, yeah actually i'm not a very big fan of uh, uh, these are uh, foam tapes so i prefer using these kind of uh, cardboard pieces now with my liquid adhesive i am going to stick these pieces oops 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 oops, oops. and i'm going to repeat the same process for the other two strips also i'm not really keen on uh, like sticking the complete uh, patch cause um, i am going to add some more elements here so it's absolutely fine even if i leave some spaces empty cause I, this is end of the day it's a tag and it is not going to be that heavy that i need to add so many layers and elements to it and that's fine i think that's absolutely fine now i will be sticking them on my tag piece and i love using my liquid adhesive cause this is something which actually gives me lots of time to rearrange it to remanage it and just play around the material and it's super fun actually that's the best part of mixed media and uh, maybe that's the reason i love mixed media so here i am done with sticking my 
tags and I just need to make sure that I press them properly I am not at all really keen that it should be a complete straight thing cause it's absolutely fine it's just a tag and I can always play around with the material and everything does not have to be perfect so I'm happy with this and you can see now my tag has some nice uh, layers okay this is done I let it dry completely and by the time I am also going to collect all the supplies the teeny mini things which I'm going to have it on my tag and I'll be back so now my base is ready it has dried out almost and now we'll start doing some work so here is one of my beautiful heart shape cutout on which I have done some mixed media work I will be listing this uh, tutorial in the dis uh, in the description box and even on the top layer you can check that and I am going to use this on my cat tag so now first I really want to use this uh, shimmer piece this is really a amazing amazing paste from uh, crafty scrappers and this is really perfect for your valentine theme uh, project so I'm just going to spread it on my page and if you can see I hope I yeah okay so you can see you can see the background or uh, gray color texture and then the shimmer paste so this is actually looking like a very nice textured paste and this is going to give a nice shimmery effect to my tag and I'm going to repeat this on all the alt alternates so covering up the center part is a little tricky but with your palette knife it's something which you can surely manage okay I'm going to repeat the same on the bottom portion and it's up to you you can have a very thin layer you can have a very thick layer and with the kind of consistency they have with the shimmer paste it's actually super 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 easy and you really don't need to bother about how to use it and where to use it and for sure this is one of the very easy and the best option to make your artwork really a masterpiece so here I'm done with my uh, shimmer paste work I'm just going to cover it up a little more okay and this is good to go I'm done with this and now the fun part I like you can see here maybe I'll just yeah so now you can see here this has some uh, orange gold color and this is completely red and black and this looks a little contrast and now to make it to your color combination I'm going to use my um, this is a sweet pumpkin shimmer spray and yeah I'm going to spray it on my tag now can you see how amazing it looks so it has a tinge of uh, orange here red and black and gray and this is just 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 perfect I'm going to use my heat gun and heat gun is just to uh, make sure that my um, drying process becomes a little faster and I'm going to twist it a little back and then again the front I wish I could show you because uh, in actually if you see this tag this whole portion oh yeah maybe you can sit here this whole portion is shimmery now in a black you can't see the orange color but you can definitely see the shimmery effect it's here also and it's here also so this is in real it is looking so 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 shimmery now when I'm done with my drying work now I'm going to add this shade of uh, spicy walnut only 
on the path so here i have decided to use my heart somewhere like this so i'm going to use my shimmer spray the brown color on this area only yeah so now this is just to highlight the borders of my um this strips now you can see the difference can you see the brown patch the black patch red orange and this is looking amazing amazing now and now it's time to stick my heart here but before that i just thought why not to add some more red to it why not so what i'm going to do is so this is how i've decided to stick my heart so here my tag is ready uh, so here so here my base is done and I'm going to add some more shade of red because I thought my red is missing somewhere and I need to add some more touch of red to it. So I'm just going to highlight my heart and I'm sure you can see how beautiful it looks and I'm just going to add some shimmery effect to it and with the shimmer paste. this looks good now okay so now i am going to stick it and see look who is here who is here standing next to me it's vanya do you want to say hi yippee hi everyone <laughs> okay so it's vanya and vanya is back from her school from her classes and now she is actually going to make her video Actually, we had planned to make her video now, but she had to go for some classes and now she's back and now she's going to make a video and I'm sure she has not decided what she's going to make. Have you, Vanya? Yes, I have decided. You have decided? I have two options for you. Oh, okay. And mm -hmm. what are that? Like, okay, one sec. So now I'm going to add these uh, gold stones to it. Got this really complements the base color of my uh, tag. And with this, I'm almost done. And while I'm sticking this, we can know what Vanya has planned for her video. So I thought one thing or hmm. two things. It's optional. Okay. So, for a tea coaster, I thought to take a paper, put water on it, and then put some paints. Okay. So it, when it dries off, until that, we would take a coaster. Hmm. And in that, hmm. we would in the sand. Then we'll stick it on it, right? Okay. And then we'll stamp hmm. written happy, happy holy. Happy Holi. Because it's so colorful. Okay. Okay. So uh, maybe I'll um, listen to all her ideas off camera and then we are going to decide what she's going to make. And now my beautiful tag is ready and I'm going to let it dry and it's super fun and it's super exciting. And please do make sure that you check the description box below for all the supplies from the Crafty Scrappers. I'm also sharing the link to their direct website. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please do not forget to mention what else you want me to do for you all guys any 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 crafty tutorial you want me to make i'll do that please do comment below thank you so much for watching bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.